Hi you five, uh, welcome to your first online music lesson with me. Uh, remember I'm treating like this like it's lesson one for everyone, so you might be doing uh, in these lessons something that you've already done before, that's a good chance to practice it, uh, but I will be chucking in a lot of stuff that people definitely haven't done before as well. Uh, we've got two lessons, two, two main things in the lesson for this week. Uh, and the first one is something we definitely haven't done, or you definitely haven't done with me before. Um, it's a application called Superlooper, which is on your computer. Okay, uh, it should be in the document that I sent you, uh, in the little songs and links section. Uh, and basically what it does is creates, or helps you create some ostinatos and build a kind of song out of it. Uh, bonus points for anyone who already knew what the word ostinato meant. It is a piece of music that repeats over and over and over again. Okay, uh, before you open up Super Looper though, I want you to have a watch of me giving it a little bit of a whirl so you know what you're doing. So when you get up Super Looper, this is what you should see. Um, if not, go back, you're on the wrong side. Uh, and you'll see all your little options are up here. It's a pretty simple website. Um, first thing you need to do is press the button that says click. And you can hear that just gives you a little beat to be your tempo to keep you in time with yourself, which is the trickiest bit about this. Okay. What Super Looper does is it takes whatever you play and loops it. It repeats it. Okay. Um, it's, it turns it into an ostinato, which we do a lot in class. This website does half the work for you. Um, you've got all your instruments up here, so if I want to hear what drums sound like, I'll click on drums, I'll click on it again, so I'm just testing it, not recording, and I'll use the top row of keys, Q, W, E, and so on, and I'll have a listen to all my different sounds. Probably a good idea to go along and test out them all before you do anything. Um, uh, when I'm ready to record, I'll click on it, and I'll see the red flashing dot just there, which means it is recording and I'll try and record a simple drum beat. Yep, that'll do. Um, next, I'll add in uh, another drum, maybe a snare drum. Cool, sounds good. Oh, oh, there's a little bit I don't like in that, so I'm going to click on it again and press X. So that means I can try again. That'll do. Um, next, I'll add a different sound. And see, that'll all just keep repeating for me. I can keep building it up. Um, so I'll add bass in next, because I love the bass. Oops, so I can start that again. And through the magic power of editing, I have finished my piece. Uh, you couldn't really hear me talking over it all, so I had to kind of skip that bit. But I basically just went in, I experimented with all the sounds, I changed my mind a bunch of times and changed things and built it up until I was happy with it. And it ended up sounding like this. by all my work. Uh, so you can see there's lots of different things you can do with this. There's endless possibilities of all the different songs you can make. Um, if you're really happy with the song, you can press the record button here and it will actually record it for you as well. Um, the key is to take your time. I, uh, When I first got in here, I started randomly mashing buttons and I didn't really get much sounding good. You really do have to think about what's going to be the next good thing to add to this song and build it up slowly. Okay, so now that you've seen me have a little go at Super Looper, it's, uh, you guys are ready to jump in and have, have, have your own go, make your own song with it. Uh, I know I said it before, but make sure you 
Really do think about your decisions. Don't just randomly add stuff in. Think about what's going to sound good. Okay. Um, the next thing we have is a song. You might have learnt this song before. Uh, this is a song called Long Legged Sailor. Oh wow, would you look at that. A piano has magically appeared in front of me. Uh, so the song is Long Legged Sailor. I'm going to play it for you. You can just listen. This is what it sounds like. Have you ever, ever, ever in your long legged life seen a long legged sailor with a long legged wife? No, I've never, ever, ever in my long legged life seen a long legged sailor with a long legged wife. Nice. Uh, now I'm going to start to teach it to you. So the first bit goes like this. This is where I actually do need you to sing back to me, so make sure you copy after me. When I go like that, that's a sequel to go. So first it goes, Have, have you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life? Ready, your turn? Here we go. Next it goes, seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. Ready, go. Nice. Then it's just, no, I've never, ever, ever in my long-legged life. Ready, go. Sailor with a long legged wife, ready, go. Nice. Here's the whole song one more time, have a listen, and then we're both gonna sing it together. Here I go. Have you ever, ever, ever in my long legged life seen a long legged sailor with a long legged wife? No. turn to sing it with me. Please make sure you sing. Don't leave me at the end of home doing it all by myself. Here we go. Have you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife? No, I've never, ever, ever in my long-legged life seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. Nice. I assume you sounded fantastic. Good job. Okay, so now that we've learnt the song, if you don't know it uh, as well as you could just yet, you can go back and listen to it again, so you can get the words down in your head, but we're going to do the activity. And there's two ways you can do this activity at home. Uh, number one is if you've got a brother or a sister or anyone at home who's willing to do this with you, this can be a clapping game. So when I say right, you're going to use your right hand to clap your partner. When I say left, you're going to use your left, left hand to clap your partner. I know lots of people won't have a partner at home. I don't have a partner here. So I'm going to, instead of doing my claps, I'm going to click. If you can't click, just do the best best you can at clicking. Okay? Um, so me, I'm going to switch between the two so that if you're doing either activity, you're not going to be completely lost. Uh, you pick which one you're doing now. If you're doing the clapping or you're doing the clicking and join in with me. So the first thing you need to do, please do this with me, is when we say have, you're going to hit your knees, have, you is a clap, you, and then for ever, 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 and so on, it's just right, clap, left, clap, right, clap, left, clap, or if you're doing the clicking, it's right, clap, left, clap, right, clap, left, clap, and so on. Can you please sing it and do it with me? Here we go. Have you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife? No, I've never, ever, ever in my long-legged life seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. Nice, I assume. Uh, the tricky bit is, though, to add in the word, the action for the word long. 
Okay, so for the word long, you need to outstretch both your arms. It's not like this. It's not like this. It is fully outstretched every time you say the word long. That's what you need to do. Okay, this time I'm going to do clapping instead of clicking. If you're clicking, still click. Ready? Here we go. Have you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife? No, I've never, ever, ever in my long-legged life seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. Nice. So that's the activity. Again, if you need to go back and watch that video uh, over and over again to get that in your head, that is absolutely fine. Please do that. Um, but your job with that little thing is to practice that routine until you can do it. Because uh, we'll be working more on it, uh, more on it in in future weeks. Okay, so you should be able to do it without me. If you're one of the people who has done music with me this year, there's a couple of year five classes who has, who have. You already know that routine. You might know some extra steps to it as well. Um, so if that is the case, your job is to practice that. Practice what you know. Okay. Either way, your job for that song is to practice that routine. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, so remember, I've given you two jobs for this week to do. One is to get on Super Looper and have uh, a go at that, make a song on that. Number two is to uh, practice the long-legged sailor routine until you can do it without me, basically. Okay, uh, whether that's with uh, someone else doing the claps or whether it's by yourself doing the clicks. Okay, um, that's pretty much all from me. I will see you guys in week one with a new video. See you later.